Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. To set up payroll and employee defaults, select Maintain, roll down to Payroll, and then choose Payroll Setup Wizard from the menu bar. You must set up your payroll item defaults before you can set your employee defaults. Sage 50 understands this, and even if you selected Maintain, then Default Information, and then Employees from the menu bar to set up your employee defaults first, it would instead launch the Payroll Setup Wizard to make you set up your payroll items first. In Sage 50, under the Payroll Options section, you choose either to use the Sage 50 Full Service Payroll or to perform your payroll activities in-house by selecting the desired option button as you click the next button to continue through the screens. If you want Sage 50 to assist in payroll and update payroll tax tables for you, then you must click the Order Online Now button or select the checkbox to specify that you've already enrolled in the service. Now if you are performing payroll in-house, you cannot update any of the tax tables in Sage 50. Only users who subscribe to one of the payroll options can edit tax tables. If you elect to perform payroll in-house, you must calculate payroll information in an external application like Microsoft Excel, and then enter the values into the payroll fields within Sage 50. You can print the paychecks, however you will not have access to payroll tax forms or payroll formulas. You can also run payroll reports except for the exception report, the payroll tax report, the tax liability report, and the sick and vacation report. After choosing a payroll option, you then use the Next and Back buttons to navigate through a series of questions presented in different panes that collect standard payroll information for your company file. It is like the wizard that is used to set up your Sage 50 company file. The Payroll Setup Wizard guides you through the process of setting up default payroll general ledger accounts, standard payroll fields, and optional payroll fields such as 401k, vacation time, and sick time. When you have finished setting up the default payroll items for your company file, you may then set up the employee defaults for your company file if needed. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.